Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. I filmed the whole video and I didn't realize I had no mascara on. Anyway, that's not why we're here. It's actually my project level up update. And it's this is gonna be a very short update, y'all, because I have made I've made progress, but I have nothing really sizable to show. I am currently working on my level one and my level two palettes in this project. So I have some work cut out for me. One palette is definitely more seasonally relevant for me this time of year or like the coming time of year that's about to hit us in the Northern Hemisphere. And then one is very, very not a color story that I'm drawn to right now. So. Let's just talk about it. If you are unfamiliar with Project Level Up, this is a project that was started by Sophie Alexandra. I will have her channel linked down below. I always have her channel linked down in the description box. These projects, I typically have everything linked down there. So if you're curious on anything, just take a look down there. I also like know what I'm wearing on my face, my nails, even though my nail polish is ratchet today. But the premise of Project Level Up is for level one, you use one palette and every shade you use one time and hit one pan. Level two, you just increase the uses and pans to two. A level three, uses and pans to three, so on and so forth. For as long as you want to do this, most people stop at level five and reset back to level one. So there's that. Oh, God. Mm. So I've been working on my level one palette, which is the VR Neon by Kaleidos. It's this guy here. So I have been working on this palette for the past couple months now. And this is what my palette is looking like today. Hopefully you can see the shade that I am predominantly spending my time focusing on which is that red shade close to the middle, this guy here called Game Over. It's a shade that intimidates me, but I really enjoy. So I figured why not use it? So this shade was in my Fantasy Self Project Pan from a couple years ago, and I was trying to hit pan in it there. I got some usage on it there, but again, no pan yet. My usage on this shade is pretty crappy this month. I only reached for that shade four times in the course of the past month. But if my numbers are correct, that means I have reached for this shade 14 times in the entirety of the project so far. It's not like I don't enjoy using the shade. I am wearing it in my look today. This is a lot of times how I'll wear it is I just use it in the outer corner. I have it layered on with a deeper plum to kind of make it a little bit more red. I kind of was channeling um, if cranberry sauce slapped my eyes. This is like the look that I was kind of inspired by. What I've been doing though is I take the shade out and I just put it in my singles, like my working singles palette that I'm working on. I will link my BYOP up in the cards. I'm actually planning on posting another one on Saturday. So you'll have to stay tuned for Saturday. What is that? December 2nd to catch my next BYOP. But yeah, this guy, I'm not super excited to continue to work on this, to be honest. However, with <laughs> the holidays approaching, I think a red shade like this, I can incorporate into a lot of looks. Every other goal has been met. I've used every shade one time. Uh, just the pan, just waiting on that pan. Because I knew the VR Neon palette, I'm panning the matte, a matte red shade in here. I knew this was gonna take a long time to hit pan on. I'm in no rush. I don't need a lot. You don't need a lot to dip into this shade to get impact on your eyes. So I'm very light handed with the shade. So I know it's going to be in the project a long time. So I rolled my level two palette in last month. And for that, I ended up selecting the Rogue palette by Fantasy Cosmetica. And funny enough, this is the palette I ranked the lowest in that ranking video. But the more I use it, the more I really like the palette. And I'm like, man, I just, I'm so intimidated by the color story. So that's why I don't gravitate towards it more. But every time I put this on the eyes, I love, and I mean, I love the look that I have. This is the Fantasy Cosmetica Rogue palette. It is very much not a comfort zone palette for me right now. However, it is a very winter color story to me. So as soon as Thanksgiving is done, this is kind of the color story that I feel like I'm really going to be diving into, really going to be gravitating towards. Um, this shade up here, Trickster, this looks so pretty on top of that red eyeshadow. Let me just, maybe I should just show you. So if I take Game Over and swatch it out on my hand, and then I take the shade Twist, Trickster, pardon, and just swatch that out, 
like you can see how kind of icy that shade looks, but it has a bit of a pink base to it. And when I put it over, it's just so pretty on top of it. It kind of just makes it like a wet wrap. Those two shades look so good together, so I'm excited to get more use out of it. Um, I wore these two in a like a very teal kind of look that I posted my I think it was my deck of panning I was wearing those shades and I loved it it was so so pretty this is actually pretty intense black of an eyeshadow not often does a black eyeshadow have like an immediate deep pigment like that I only found the black shade in the oh my gosh the Kaleidos sci-fi green palette the shade dark side that i panned earlier this year that has a very similar tone to this where it's just bam impactful black like very pigmented you barely need to dip into it you'll get intense payoff so this is a shade you really don't need a whole heck of a lot of and it really does the job so i don't think i'm gonna be focusing on this one if you missed it i did hit pan in that shade dark side and it took forever. <laughs> I really love the shade sleight of hand and it's one of those more malleable shimmer formulas so I definitely definitely can hit pan in this guy and then I do think that slight or no sneak attack here it's just a really pretty shade for this time of year it just it's so cool it's very icy but has that brown base. This actually would be a shade that might be really nice on Game Over 2, but I feel, yeah, like that would be really pretty on top of it. So I need to just experiment more with Game Over with some of these different shades to just create different looks with them. Because I rolled in a purple eyeliner to try to finish in, I don't know what project, maybe my deck of panning project. So this is going to go really well with it. I have a lot of purples that I'm going to be focusing on in the next month because I have a lot of purples left in my no pan left behind. December to about March is like my bread and butter season for purples. So I think that I'll get a lot of use out of this palette come December. Uh, again, because the snowier time of year, I, I want to gravitate and wear these kinds of shades more. So nothing, nothing exciting. No rollouts. I'm not rolling anything in. I'm okay not rolling anything in because it's, it's the end of the year. But that is it for my project level up update two, update three. I don't know what update we're on. I think it's the second update in this project. I think I have decided that I'm just going to continue this project on. And that's another reason why I'm in no real rush to hit level three or roll in level three. Let me just focus on these. I have a lot of eyeshadow projects that I am thinking about doing next year. I actually am planning to do like a help me pick my eyeshadow projects inspired by Sophie Alexandra. So you guys can help me out kind of deciding what projects to focus on. I have pros and cons for like every single one of them. So I'm going to need your guys help in a future video. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. That is it for my project level up project pan update two. Again, I'm really excited about this project. I'm kind of sad because the best part of the project is rolling things out and rolling new stuff in, but I have to remember that I am doing the eyeshadow bank now and I really am trying to get use out of my collection and not just tunnel vision and like hit pan and like meh, 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 always hit pan, you know? I'm trying to just spread the love in my collection. So this project's just taking a little bit longer. I'm okay with that. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I always feel like after I swatch red eyeshadow, it looks like I have Cheeto dust on my fingers. <laughs>